Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, May 28th, and I am here with Erin Hollingshead, high school counselor, as well as Nick Hunt, middle school counselor, and we are going to talk about the topic of helping your child deal with grief. As you know, we've had a very unexpected event occur this past week, and that is the passing away of one of our fifth grade teachers, Crew Carroll. And as a result, we've had to pull together as a school community and think about ways that we can help our students as well as faculty, staff, and parents deal with this. I actually received an email today from a parent who recalled that her sixth grade teacher died and that the approach that her school took was not to deal with it, sort of buck up and um, keep going and we're not going to talk about it. She remembers that event to this day and the need to um, be able to deal with her feelings. So we are fortunate enough to be at a school where we do that, um, where we have very skilled professional counselors. What we'd like to do is talk about what was done this week, um, given the event that occurred Tuesday night, as well as ways to help in um, the coming week and thereafter, your child, no matter what their age, um, be able to handle the feelings. Aaron. So when we heard about the events that had taken place, um, immediately, our school's leadership team and counseling team got together in order to make a plan. So this plan really was enacted that evening with messages sent out to the community of, of teachers and then the next day to parents. Um, after that, we met as a staff because we understand that while the students were our priority that day, we also are grieving ourselves. And to be better support system for the students, we need to take care of ourselves. Um, once the school day started, we had a couple of activities planned in classrooms for students to have the opportunity to remember Mr. Carroll. And um, we also gave them a chance to talk about the grieving, talk about their feelings. And then we turned things a bit around a bit by having students think of the fond memories they had. The biggest support that I would say we had throughout the day was a safe room where it was a, a room that we had for students to come, draw pictures, make cards. They could just sit and cry if they wanted to be by themselves or talk to counselors. And we found that this was a tremendous support. There was a bit of ebb and flow throughout the day. You saw all sorts of emotions. But that kind of reinforced to us the importance of, in the grieving process, being OK with whether students react by having extreme negative emotions. Sometimes it was just a bit of um, discomfort. Sometimes it was confusion or not knowing what to think. And we, we tried to engage students in those conversations that they need to be okay with having those feelings no matter what they are. So as parents watching this, we want to encourage you when you're talking with your students to number one, do just that and talk with them, communicate, be honest, listen, but also be aware that you may not be able to predict how your son or daughter will feel. So one day they might be really dealing with it in a tough way, the next day they might seem like they're okay, and that's completely fine. And we really just want you guys to continue those communications. I think um, Aaron said it well that you want to, you know, we created this safe room at school and you want to do the same thing with your child wherever you are. Um, you know, there is a grief cycle, but um, there's not a specific way to go through it. And so wherever your, st your child is, is fine. Let them be in that space. Um, really being okay with them uh, talking when they're ready and um, just wherever they're at, that is just fine and, and assist them and be willing um, to listen whenever it's time. Um, you may want them to talk about it right away and all that and, and that's positive, but the person might not be at that spot and so that's totally okay. What we found was it was very helpful for our, um, in particular, fifth grade students to have a memory wall and to write their thoughts and feelings and memories of Mr. Carroll. And we know that as a school, we, um, we need, in a sense, to be able to um, have an event where we can celebrate this, this man's life. Um, in working with his wife, we will be um, coming forth with plans for this next week to be able to do that. And also, the community has expressed in so many ways their desire to be able to help and to reach, and to reach out in support. Um, we will be coming forth with information about 
um, scholarship funds as well as the celebration of life this week, all of which in a sense help us because they um, were able to play an, an active role in being able to um, think about the, the memory of this wonderful man. So um, one of the things I'm struck with as I listen to our two counselors is the phrase from our mission, um, intellectual and personal development. This is uh, um, really a testimony to helping our students with their personal development that we know is, is so important in addition to the academics. So um, that's Sahifa this week. Please know that our counselors at each division are available to be able to discuss um, any thoughts and feelings in more detail and to offer assistance. All right, thank you, thank you.